Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday Merktide, the weekly video where I play Blur Merktide, sometimes Steamer with Questing Druid, but uh, for today it'll be just pure is it. I'm bringing back my friend Ledger Shredder. I always think that you need to play an additional threat in order to play around um, Leland of the Void. You need either just a threat that isn't, that doesn't go through the graveyard because against matchups where to bring Leland of the Void. You need to have something else other than Merc Tide or Channeler, since Ragavan dies to Orc, often you cite it out. And Questing Druid is an option, or is Ledger Shredder in this case. Uh, I'm still trying this change the equation card. It's a definitely an interesting card that feels like a fifth counter spell. And if you don't play Questing Druid, you definitely can uh, play effects like this, more and more effects like this. Also, uh, High on Subtlety. Uh, I saw this list in the prelims and I felt like it was uh, kind of like how I would have liked to try blue red at the moment. Maybe the card that I dislike the most here is not a licensed errors. I like this play Blood Moon Magus. Going all in on one type is not great, I think. Especially in open deck list if I am uh, and you are considering uh, practicing for the upcoming regional championship. So yeah, splitting is always nice, maybe even more than the one if you can. Daniel, Florent, Bosch. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's very morning for me as I returned last night late from the usual Popper League. <laughs> but you know, happy, happy to be here. Yesterday I played Is It, so actually I was... Uh, I was getting ready for today. Okay, what a fantastic hand I have here, man. This is just what dreams are made of. Land Ragaban and then Land Chandler Bubble. I couldn't have made it better. Hello. In the Power League, I went 3 and 1. Uh, that was good. That was a good time. I played against 4 fast decks, so the match was over. Very fast, I had a lot of time to chat and talk and laugh. It was mostly just like a four hours reunion rather than a magic tournament. <laughs> a lot of no, a lot of old uh, magic players that I used to play with like 10 years ago are returning because of Popper and because of the new store in my town. So yeah, Popper just lets you basically buy, every, everyone just buys into the format. All right, looks like they have a, a removal spell, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight over that. And then I'll go Shredder Bubble after they play a kill spell. Wow, they don't! Oh wow. <sighs> I think it's likely that they have spells there. So what if I just go land Channeler and pass? I don't want to see my Shredder spells nared. reason for splitting Moon and Magus ooh, end, is so that your opponent uh, can't go all in on one type of hate in their sideboarding. It may bring you like two dismembers or whatever. And you... Okay. Alright, let's just go Shredder Bubble because I might actually get Delirium here. Because I already have two type and I can discard a type. Uh, I'm gonna surveil and then loot, yeah. Yeah, so now I'm already delirium. Uh what do we wanna discard? Iterations or Merc? I think I'll discard Merc. I don't wanna delve away my graveyard or um, get away my graveyard, so. Mm-hmm. Change the equation, of course, uh, counters the um, living Gand as well. A pass with counter spell up. Of course, they can go grief uh, shardless and I lose. But at, at the end of the day, it is what it is. 
This is definitely a... I think this is a... Like, people definitely think I think this is a bad matchup. In theory, you have all the tools to win it. Like, even um, a force of... A Valiant Outburst Force of Negation in my turn. Or a Grief Shardless. Or Grief Force... Like, there's a lot of ways, definitely. Oh, wow, they don't even have a Cascade spell. I mean, it's also like a inconsistent deck, so, you know, sometimes your deck will feel like not a very good one. Happy to read that, big monkey. Alright, uh, let's see how much damage it is. 3, 6, 9, 11. I got 11 damage. This boat is going to stay on top. Hand, bottom, exile. Play land. I'll bolt you. I'll discard one of these spells to surveil that, to connive there, and I already have delirium. Sorry, I already have lethal, I meant to say. I should have surveilled first. Okay. It didn't matter because I drew bubble, but in this case, you should surveil first. Because you want to draw into those cards. You don't want to have them on top. I don't like Archmage Charm, never liked them. Since the day they he saw playing Merc died. Allora. A licensed thirst seems like it's good. In practice, this is so expensive for this matchup. Obviously, I'm bringing it in. There's a lot of bad cards here. Most notably, Bolt and Anoli Heat are bad. That doesn't mean you want to take out all of them, but I'm just saying you are they're bad. Um, Stern's Cold Encounter is Grief. Although, since we're on the draw, I may not want it. The Popper event is good. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Had a good time. Oh, Spells Nair too. So to take out five cards, this is for sure. So to take out four cards, and I think a split makes sense. Actually, Anoli Heat I think is better than Bolt, because Anoli Heat kills Curator of Mysteries and Endurance. And those are cards that uh, they they often are cast against you. Perfect hand. I have a uh, one turn one Ragavan. I have answers to Living End. I have answers to Counter War. Would I recommend starting building a modern pool by playing Pop Merc Tide? Yeah, I mean, it's a very fun and rewarding deck. It's also very difficult, so you'll most likely lose all your first leagues, but if you're okay with that, I think it's fine. I should have bowled myself first. I'm gonna hold on it then. What's your best advice on how to mulligan well with Tron? I made a lot of videos about Tron. Make sure to watch them. I make like, I don't wanna say endless content because obviously every content ends, but I highly, I doubt, I doubt that everyone has watched all my content. I do like, you know, four hours a day for almost like at this point, three or four years. And obviously, I have to watch the four years old videos, but ever since they made Tron this summer, I might have played Tron like, I don't know, six times on YouTube con uh, videos, and that's like two hours per video. And, and, and you know, all those videos matter. Also, like, all my articles are free, remember that. My channel Fireball pays me well <laughs> to make those articles, and they all have like, you know, free cyber guide and everything so make sure to get all the values if you are interested in competitive magic there's not that many free places like 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 my articles and other people's article on channel fireball buongiorno buongiorno l'avvocato come va Charlotte's agent. Hey, I can't. I can't. All right, let's bubble myself. Uh, 
Uh, what do I see here? I see another bubble, the classic bubble chain. Uh, I don't want it. I'm gonna go Island Preordain. I wanna tell them that I play Blood Moon, even though I don't. On the play I may, but... Okay, I like both of these, I think. It may actually have been a mis... No, it's not a mistake, it's okay. Let's think about this. Do I want to go a license there's this turn? The problem is if they go grief shardless, it's bad. But if I go hers and they go force of negation, I lose. So I think what I'm going to do is top top pass. Now my fail case against leaving end, there will always be a fail case. Against um, Living End, there's always like a sequence of cards that kills you. So if they draw well, you always lose. Because they play a legacy deck, basically. You don't have any free counters and they have free interactions. Anyway, so here I think that my best play is not play around Grief uh, Shardless, which they have. If I played hers, they could have had Force of Negation. I would, I would say that they may have like Grief Turn 1 to take Ragavan, but you know... As I said, Unlicensed Earth is just not, this is just not it. Like, it's so slow. Like, fear. this was Tormod Script. Like, in Barcelona, LMS Barcelona, I played Tormod Script. It would have been insane here. I play it. I win this game, thanks to it. Um, but you can't really afford to play Tormod Script because it's only for this matchup. And this matchup is, like, not that bad to justify having a Tormod Script. At that time in Barcelona, I thought Living End was going to be huge. And it was. There was three in the top eight. Although I played against zero, of course. So that's our story. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, Unless Thirst is mostly for the mirror match. It's definitely not for Living End. And it's over. There's no need to play this game furthermore. I guess I should have let him. I should have seen if they have a, a um, Living End in hand. In, on top. They could have like had three in hand. But yes. So... Uh, anyway, uh, post cyber. I want this turn scolding on the play. I will cut the Anoli heats. What about I played Magus of the Moon? I just, I just, I can't say Magus of the Moon. Let's see what it is. Let's see how it goes. Anoli heat, all about. You think playing Preordain was a bad play? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I played Preordain, I realized it was a bad play. Although the problem is that the waiting game is so hard against Living End, because they have so many like redundant threat. They can just go, you know, in my turn, combo, untap combo. What's the worst matchup for Living End? You mean a deck that always beats Living End? Scam? It's probably the best one. On top of having Dr. Void Walker main, they also have like Leyline and Chalice in the sideboard. And, you know, Grief and Thoughtseize. You know, definitely one of the best decks. I think I put it fifth this year. Coffers is like a buy against Living End. You just can't win. <laughs> Your only tool is Leyland of the Void. And, you know, they have a deck. So they definitely can beat Leyland of the Void. <laughs> Alright, I'll bottom. I'll bottom the Ragavan. Merktai's favorite too? Nah, it's close. Uh, I wouldn't say Merktai is favorite, no. I think that Merktai is only favorite against Burn and Mill. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna go preordain here because I want to find second lands. It'd be nice if I can go channel or bubble as a second land. Uh, Mugs of the Moon. Actually, I'm gonna top this because I want to graveyard it. Oh, never mind. I'm shuffling. Okay, never mind. Doesn't matter. Most likely uh, graveyard in anything. What about a land though? That is something I want. A land. I'll leave it on top. 
Um, and then the time you wanna sh you wanna uh, sacrifice the bubble is in their upkeep, so that uh, if they grieve they don't see the fourth card. Although it's an island, I know, but it's free roll. That's another way to handle uh, Chalice of the Void. That's why I had uh, Thomas Crypt. Stomp. I have an island, so I'm gonna go probably here. Eater. Let's see what it is. But, oh, Merc died. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go Iteration. Okay, hand, bottom, exile, I'll play island pass. I'm glad I kept the island on top. It would have been a disaster if I graveyarded this island. Okay. If I play Merktide, I think it's my way to win. I'm gonna win this game. I have Merktide, then I have Subtlety for Grief and Flasterstorm for Shardless. If they go upkeep, I have Flasterstorm and... and uh, if they go Outburst plus 4, and I have two counters again. Why AI this turn, we're holding Fluster, we don't have any pressure. I had Merktide in my hand, I needed a 5th card in my graveyard. This game has been played well. The the previous one, no, but this game has been played well. Okay, now this is okay still, because if they go Outburst, I can uh, flash a Storm both the Outburst and the Living End. So that m my opponent can't trade. Okay, you go Grief. I will go subtlety. And without subtlety I would have lost this game again, despite the Flash of Storm and the counter spell. Because you have to put threat. Their deck is so good. Like they comboed on turn four protected. I had two protection as well. If they go out I think I'm gonna go Fluster. I really need my my Merkdead to resolve, otherwise I have nothing. You lost to Merfolk with uh, the Mono Black deck? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know anything can happen. Yeah, Infect? Oh, yeah, I can see that. It's not that I play around Infect that much, but... I kill you fast, uh, you are a slow deck. Okay, and yeah, now we just hope they, uh, they have one card. If they go Cascade, Cascade, uh, and we don't draw a counter, we lose. But I feel good about this game. I want to know where is Merc. I want to know where is Grief. Okay, it's either in end or... Uh, they probably top, yeah, they bottomed it. They didn't even have a Cascade spell. The Magus of the Moon would be good here. Actually, Counter Spell would be the best draw. <laughs> Man, you mean to be like land carnosaur here? <laughs> it doesn't have a ragavan, but I'm keeping it. What do you think about Trump position in the meta game? I uh, ranked it. I don't remember what it was. Maybe seventh or eighth. You can check my. Channel Fireball power ranking on Channel Fireball. I won't land. I 
Don't want subtlety. Probably shouldn't have wanted land as well. How's the weather? It's good. It's very sunny. I can show you outside with a camera. Look, focus, focus. No, no focus. No focus on the sun, on the on the sky. It's very clear. Very clear sky. Oh look, I'm not saying Meyer go, sure. Bello, bello mango, bravo. <laughs> oh, Jetmir Garden. Last week I went 4 1, losing 2 5 color creativity. I think this is my time for a revenge. No, it's actually not creativity. I don't know what that deck that is. So I'm just, just fetching and plussing and, and plussing and passing. <laughs> Plus, remember the rules. All right, I see a lot of common name chat. What are the rules with expressive iteration? Let me do the the teacher test. Before land drop, yes, that's for sure. And better with big amount of lands. Okay, now Jace has the answer. Cast when have no more lands. Bravo, Jace. Queen di terra, chandeliere, pass. Even if, even if I draw, didn't draw this, land, pass. No rush, this is not limited. You don't have to make a play every turn. It's not Magic Arena, where the only goal is to make quests, to get your daily things. You just play land and pass. Only when have no lands in end, play the iteration. Counter targets, oh, sorry, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Alright, let's play my change the equation over here. Change the equation was ready, was ready for this moment. It's the fifth counter spell. We don't play quest in your road. Counter spells is good. Ah, yeah, that's not good. If I cagare, but I think it uh, not only heat is better than uh, a fifth land, a top land even. I don't have any opinion on druid or no druid. I just play things. I'm a content creator. I don't have any opinions. My opinions are meaningless. Come silence, ma te sei matto nella testa. Well, I'm so happy they resolve Fable. The happiest. They said, now, you know, I can die, but I have a resolve Fable of the Mirror Breaker. A new mango can't do anything about it. I think, honestly, the real reason is that Creativity player is so tired of losing to Cascade. You know, the matchup of Creativity versus Rhinos and Living End is hideous. And they're like, you know, I'm so tired of losing Cascade, I'm just gonna play main deck silence. I did play against Cascade first round. Also, I really didn't know what I was doing with this Anoli Heat, so thank you, opponent, for forcing Fable through.
And I even think that Silence isn't like the worst ever against Murktide too, because if you go like late game, you have like two tokens, you go Silence, Creativity, you win the game. Although, Vrenda 6, it's card advantage, but they already discarded with Fable, so I'm just gonna let them have it. Ooh, that was loud. Young PZ, thank you for the 33rd month. Is Silence even the best anti-cascade card? I mean, it's pretty good there, yes. I, and also, like, it protects your combo too. Like, it's a great cyborg card, but yeah, that's why they made cyborg. Oh, you're rated? I'm sorry. Thank you, young PZ. No 33 months, but 33 people. Allora, there you have two cards. Mmm. How likely is they have a a burn spell? Very likely. You know what? I'm passing. I kind of want to hard cast subtlety here. If they play like a Teferi or stuff like that. The mana base is so weird. Like five. Look at this. Five land. Okay. I kind of want to just cast subtlety. I know it's not great, but this way, like they may use a removal spell on this rather than a Ragavan. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I'm happy with this exchange. Maybe I shouldn't be. I'll cast Ragavan and pass. I'm gonna have both counter spell and removal spell up. Adios, Ragaban. I need to draw my Merc died. Oh wow, silence again. I go bolt here and I will let this resolve. Now if they go fetch land creativity, I can discard counter spell to the Archon and then I can annually hit the Archon. Let's take a track No, why did they mention it? Why did they mention it? It's so unlikely that they have a Traxa, they shouldn't have even mentioned it. I mentioned it and this one appeared. That's crazy. This is why you should never wish anything bad to happen to you. Because if you do, it manifests. You should always think positive. I can't believe last time I've seen an Atraxa. It was so long ago. And I see it here in front of me. Ma pensa te, Dio caro. Oh, they win. This game, I'm very dead. Also, like, I spent all my removal spells on, on, on cards. Oh, wow. Not dead. Their hand is Lightning Bowl, Striker Rich, Leyline Binding, Brennan 6. The top of the deck is Teferi though. That's very good. Eva Bin, let's go double bolt. Pass. So their hand is. Strike your rich, Leyland Binding, and down to Fairy that just drew.
It ran out of counter spell. I can go Merc Tide with counter spell backup. They just have Leyline Binding in hand that I should be worried about. Yeah, Merkul is uh, wins against Merktide, yes. Alright, I am happy to trade uh, Ragavan for a Dwarf. I finished all my Noli Eat, so I can't, I can't kill this Ren and Ticks. Oh no, they have a Creativity, Vabino, Perso. I guess let's see what um, what creatures they have. What a Merktide, they have Leyland Binding in end. They, they picked it up with the tracks. It's over, but I wanna see what they have. It's unbelievable, whenever I play Creativity, the best result I've had is 1-4 in my last like three leagues with Creativity. I, I lose to it with Merc Tide, which probably shouldn't happen, but... Okay, so they have two Archon. They have like two Archon, one Atraxa. And maybe like another Archon, or maybe three creatures only. But yeah, Atraxa definitely won them the game on the spot. If they, if they had Archon instead of Atraxa there... I mean, they just draw one card, instead they drew five. <laughs> and my attracts, I would have had another annoyed, so... Crazy. Crazy. Okay. I'll cut those five cards. Uh, do I want to bring in those six or is it too many? Three explosives. Nah, it's okay. I'll cut another Anoli Heat too. Forza, Forza! Magus is bad. I'm not bringing Flash of Storm. I know it should be good, but. Subtlety is good in Despairing. So, Subtlety isn't amazing, but it does few things. Like, it's a flesh threat in a game where sometimes, like, you can't afford to tap in your sorcery speed. No, Magus dies to Bolt. I don't, I don't want Magus. Um, it's possible that you may not want the subtlety and you bring in Magus instead, but you kind of want to have some creatures, and I think that Shredder sucks. And the reason why people were playing Blood Moon in the past was because of Creativity and for color Omnath. Now these two decks are way less popular than before, so that's why you see the Maguses. That is bad. I'm gonna keep it. I'll uh, bought a Merktide Regent. But, you know. I don't want to go to 5, but this end is definitely bad. Yes, Blood Moon is still a thing. This deck is high upside of playing one ofs because you have so many card draw and card selection. Nice, subtlety. Very good against uh, a turn to Vren or Teferi here. Opponent can go turn to Teferi too. 
Obviously, it's not a massive in a game where your mana screwed because you're changing lands for spells. The best case is if they go Teferi, honestly. If they go Vren, I'm still happy to go Subtlety, but you know. Yeah, they can go Vren. Go to fairy, please. No, red, 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 red. Able. I put up on Pasha Fetching Cat. I don't have a second land. Morning, Lawless. We are playing our weekly loss against um, Creativity with Merktide. Hopefully, that will be the last loss of this league. <laughs> I did like Asmo Inti yesterday. It's fine. 4 1. Content achieved. You discarded Bozegio and Dwarven Mine. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Attacchino. I got a 15. I don't even know what's my line to win this game. Like, I draw land next turn, what do I do? Nothing really. Your beanstalks arrived? Nice. I may have a news for you, but if you don't want to hear it, I totally understand it. Explosives is gone. I didn't even want it. I'll attack and pass, hoping my opponent does something next turn. But they probably won't, because they're playing actually very well, I think. Like, despite the weird deck choices, they're actually playing well. Like, a a eating exactly the cards they need to eat at the right time. A look, let's go counter spell. Just because I need probably get the Lyra with this counter spell. And then I give you like a reasonable clock. Yeah, delirium. What does dispute do against them? Counter to fair is big deal. Well sometimes like three mana counter is not bad. I don't need test of talent because I'm a fan. Allora, look, these results. Does he? Do you exile this? Hmm. Like three mana mana leak. It's honestly not ideal, but not too bad. Rhinos has definitely proven that. Against big mana decks, dispute is okay, just to cast to three mana. And you know, Chad, that Mystical Dispute was my preview card for Throne of Old Rain. That was that was a big changer. Allora. 
I'm gonna go subtlety. The question is, what do I pitch? I pitch dispute because I need to find delirium. Actually, subtlety doesn't give me delirium. Like, I'm still not delirious. I need to put another spell to be. So as I said, in this game of mana screw, subtlety is obviously amazing because it's a zero mana card. No, Anela, that's not true. <laughs> there is a uh, player of magical land called uh, Bullwinkle, six, nah, six something, six five. He and uh, another player were the one to add uh, Merc Tide and Dispute to Rhinos. Allora. Left total shouldn't matter too much, so I'm just gonna go iterations. If I find a red card, I'll take three damage off of Blood Strand. Yo, chiaro, ma gli istantanei dove sono? Still don't have Delirium. Dai, non ci credo. Non ci credo! I didn't have Delirium. Non ci credo. Porca puttana, Eva. I guess I said them all out. My pants at it. Like, I got Mana Screwed and Mana Flood in the same game on turn 5. Attenzione. It looks like it... It's... Wow. Wow. Spell Pierce. Sorry. Sorry for saying I didn't like you. I was actually super happy to have you. Attenzione. Mango! Cibola! They targeted the treasure. This means that they can't even defend this. Even if they do whatever, they target the treasure. The treasure. If they use this for mana, the fizz, the creativity fizzles, so. No answer available. Force of will, it's not legal. Mental misstep is not legal. Allora, Ragaban, Ragaban, no grazie. Put it on the payroll? Well, because they don't ghost, that means that are on the payroll? What if I had an only heat in my hand? I think I'm happy to trade Ragaban for a treasure here. Pact of negation, yeah, true. Pact of negation is a free counter. That's true. But then there isn't. I guess yeah, they can go like poetic ritual metamorphose. Pay. Okay, okay, okay. There was a combination of cards that let my opponent do the thing. Yeah, that's fine. I need to bluff something. Commandeer. Oh, Commandeer. That's true. Commandeer. Man, there's so many free counters. Man, if I hit Delirium, I would have won this game. Crazy that it didn't in like so many cards. Probably first time ever that I'm missing instant to get Delirium. Yeah, command your meta was something else. Aspiring Spike 
changed the meta game and made uh, ban a card crazy. The influencer world. Teferino, va bene. This means they don't die. Mm. Iteration. Allora, I have all my lightning bolts out, remember. I'll go immediately this, because if I find like explosives, I want to play it on zero and have two mana up to crack it. Bene. Hand bottom exile. Graveyard. Play land attack face. Go. No counter spells in her deck, so opponent uh, Teferi is not that relevant. Ah, uh, begin combat. I do want to crack the explosives. They may do creativity on this, but. I can't play around that anyway, so at least this way I don't die to Lightning Bolt. I guess I do like die to Lightning Bolt. I die to anything. I'm just a dead man walking. Hmm, wow, put it doesn't attack. Oh, you're playing around the Ragavan Dash? Yeah. Oh, Jonah Rubin. Oh, look, I'm opponent is still one. I still have no removal spell in my deck. Like, sorry, no Lightning Bolts in my deck. I have some Anoli Heats. Three, in this case. Okay. I bet, uh, let's do, what? Like, Iteration? A hand bottom exile. And the problem is that I think I want to explosive that. Uh, sorry, e e that. Um, I only hit that. Maybe I should be supposed to play this. I'm actually afraid of you know dying to like a lightning bolt and attack, and I could draw a ragavan. Which they can remember they can't fetch for dwarven with mine. So And I have how many Raga ones I have in my deck? Uno do two They have three cards in hand. Hmm. Hallelujah. I want to go. Channeler and only heat on the fairy. Mm. Now, do I want to play Merc Tide? So I don't think the subtlety does anything to me. Us. 
bale of summer <laughs> after they <laughs> surgical all of mine um after this surgery called all of mine um, counter spell. <laughs> wow, I won this game. Woo! What a game! I thought for sure I was dead. I don't even know what happened for make me win. Mamma mia. These cards seem all good. I mean, what is bad? Maybe explosives is bad, but I want to draw. Why don't I like deflecting palm and burn? It's usually very easy to play around, and your deck is not very good at holding. You should just jam. I think it's too hard to just go land Ragaban. If they go Vran and Six, I just puck it up. I may probably still lose to turn two Vran on the, on the draw. So maybe it was the right play to just die, to just jam. But the thing is that it doesn't even win in, like they just go Bolt end of turn, you know. When I fetch Stevens, I know I have Bloodman, but whatever, it's just a one-off and I may need multiple red with the only heats and things I'll dash here yeah we could have had one lightning bolt just just to draw one when it was on three yeah sure I definitely didn't want to hold up change the equation because it doesn't counter Teferi. It does counter Fable, so maybe I was supposed to do that. But if the gem Teferi, I just... You know. They don't have neither Teferi nor Fable. Un bel cazzo. Bene. Bene così. Let's go, let's go. Your favorite archetype is Tamar Time Mono White. I didn't know that, Teo. I didn't know that. You say that as a surprise to me. No, opponents, no, no, chat. They have Veil of Summer. Ma inculato. Mia inculato. Incul 8. GG. I got wrecked. Hawks! That left me. They top left me. <sighs> Good thing I didn't read too much into the bluff. I think I bought them both. Why old explosives in end? Well, why play it? You made your channeler and you do the thing. We'll play Merc Tide. You don't throw cards around with this deck. Come on. Come on, chat. Be better. I know. I know you know. And if you don't know, you should know. I'll play Channeler and pass. 
I don't feel like playing Merc Tide. I feel like they have Leyline Binding. I want to just give them bet worse targets. How can you get better without asking questions or getting answer? I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to answer that way. I don't know why, but I always assume everyone is just... Nothing. Allora! Hmm... I just can't play Merc. They go binding and it's terrible. Bella questa, bella, 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 bella. And bottom exile. Next turn, I can go blood moon with force of negation back up. Bene. It's time. It's time. Actually, we may slow roll one more turn. Let's see what I draw. <gasps> Attenzione, something is happening. Red, red, red. Red, red, red. Che passa? Red, 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 red. Eh, no, che cazzo è? Ah. Oh, wow. The creativity has a bait. I'm in. Hello, I pass opponent. It's over. One card combo. Here we go. Bada boom. <laughs> Even though the creativity in end, I know. So let's just start a bunny. Let's play this, why not? It's not over yet. It's actually not. Because if they go Fable of the Mirror Breaker, I may lose. Well, that one has to be countered. Have I been streaming any Vintage Cube? I haven't. My content is better in constructed than limited. Bene, let's go Murki Murki. Do I take away all my spells? Yes, I wanted to make as big as I can. Go. I can still lose this game if they draw another creativity. Okay, perfect. I'm dashing this. Do I ever play Modo off stream? Almost never. Although I registered for the PTQ this Sunday because I have nothing to go to do this Sunday. And uh, it's great because it starts in the morning. So, you know, I can finish by like 4 p.m. And then I can leave my day. I never play in the weekend because they always start like 4 p.m. Which like eats the whole day. Eh, vabbè, allora, loccati! 
Very good that we managed to win this match. I really thought that game two we were dead. The Gatsos! Awesome. Alright, take a bathroom break and I'll come back for round numero dos. GP, which you know, may be in my first GP top 8 if I won. Game 3, I ultimate Devraska and I lost the game. If you ultimate a Planeswalker and you lose, I don't know what's worse, you or the Planeswalker you're playing. Alright, we got lands and spells. It's a key. Yeah, now we were able to dodge the weekly creativity loss. What do you think about Xa Shadow decks? I always hated the card that Shadow. Like, actually, at always. Very rare moment. Maybe, like, in Legacy. When it was popular, that was like it. Ooh, Nettle Sentinel. Nettle Sentinel, I see. I see, which got on top? Cavern of Sauce. The Cavern of Sauce. Okay. Buongiorno, people. Play against elves here. Nah, I think I'm blocking. It's like very likely our opponent's gonna block on top of this and they have a million blockers for Ragavan. That's honestly why I played Ragavan, because I knew I was going to block the Nettle Sentinel. Le Terre, my, my. Terre? Man, drawing counters, but after I see the top card is a Cavern of Sauce. Madonna mia. How can I win this game? I only have counter spells and you have Cavern of Sauce. When's the last time I touched standard Mangu? A Pro Tour March of the Machine, May 2023. I lost almost every round. I bought the card for a deck, but it's unlikely that I'm going to be playing it because all the. Va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene. I need to draw, you know what, I need to draw Merc Tider Regent. I need to draw that one. Can I get, can I get that one? Oh, they fetched? No, 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 they, no, no, they drew this, they drew this. I, I bubbled on turn one. And I got the card, Merktide Regent. Se mi fai dei cazzo di elfi, porca eve, perdo mi cazzo. Pass. I've literally, uh, I, I'm only going to two this game. I have five cards that I'll never be able to use. No, I can't wait to cyber. I'm gonna just throw all these counters in the garbage. Imagine losing this game. Be kind of funny. I'm gonna hold the uh, Lanor Elf in play. Just in case. Justin Case. I guess I can counter Grist. Or Grins and Zenith for Grist. It's a joke. I know Grins and Zenith is banned in modern. I don't know why it is, but it is banned. I guess the reason is Yogmoth. But Grace is in the can't even get Yogmoth. I mean, if they left Fury alive, everything would have been fine. Whatever. They choose to ban cards rather than unbanning. 
Allora, this is an elf. What elf it is? It's Uri. Regenerate another elf. It's a very important word. Oh, if I, I'll regenerate that. Sure. And another one, as they say. <laughs> Two regeneration shield, eh? Oh, so tanti do, eh? This other elf is very well shielded. Aren't that regent? Can anyone give me a wasteland for this cavern of sauce? I'd love a wasteland. Attention, è arrivato! Murktide region! That's gonna be the win. I wouldn't try to beat me with some one ones. Victory! <laughs> che schifo! <laughs> oh, Zerangel, you were my previous opponent with creativity. Thank you for the games. Uh, you play very well, and thank you for. Uh... <laughs> it really sucks to say, but I guess thank you for not ghosting. But uh, yeah, thank you. I really mean it. Allora. Let's cut spell peers. Um, but let's cut more counter spells. Like this. Do I want... Stern Skolden over counter spell. It's better. Stern Skolding is good. I mean, I know that I'm putting as cavern and such, but. Go. Without Fury, Tribal decks make a comeback. Well, Merfolk is definitely good. I put a Merfolk video out yesterday. It's always good. Whenever I play Merfolk, I I do well with it. Vamos, keep. What if I bottom a land? Because I do believe in Ragaban. Actually, I might bottom Ragaban. I changed my mind. Cavern of Sauce. Okay, let go. Well, I like keeping Ragavan. Yeah. I mean, it was it's, it's a trade with a 1-1. One, one. I definitely wish I had more cards to side out Stern's Colden, but I think my Cyber all sucks, so I have to take out... If I had something else, I would take out Stern's Colden, but I, I, I don't. It's like the only counter spell left. Of course, they drew it when they had Cavern. Also, you know, it's not likely, but sometimes they don't draw Cavern of Souls. I mean, if Ragavan trades with a 1 1, it's a success. Their deck needs 1 1 to survive. They don't play 1 1 to trade with Ragavans. They play Rag the 1 1 to stay in play. What do we think of Elves? No thoughts. Oh cazzo, potevo cantare quello, fate F6. Ma porca puttana Eva. Oh man, sei un coglione. Allora.
I'm gonna go Island Shredder. One three. What do I think of Brothers of the End? It's not a very good card. The reasoning it replaces Fury doesn't make much sense. Fury was a good card. And uh, Brothers of the End is not. So you, you don't replace a good card with a bad card because it's similar. Anyway, I lost to, I lost this game. If I could counter this, they would have had two more. It's still winnable because I have Merkta Regent in my deck, but... It's like saying, uh, I don't know, I, I'm a, uh, let me think of a synonym. Too difficult to think of a sign on him right now, so I just draw in this card instead. Can I draw a spell? I have a spell. Kill tanto. Ah. Ah, Could have been worse. I'll discard this Sterns. Although they cast things from the top of the deck, so Sterns Cold, you might actually get something here. What if I discard a land? I probably don't need all these lands. Oh wow, Nexus Sentinel with Elven Course is a combo. Look, I don't want I understand that you're having fun, but I'm not some conceding. I mean, if you're having fun fast, sure, but you're having fun. You're you were having fun. You were having fun slow. I I don't want to do that. You want to manage brother artifacts with brother. The thing is that there aren't that many decks where brother hand is good. Like as simply as that. Like you check my power rankings and. Who do you say Brother Zudan against? Amulet? Yeah. But that's like... Not even that good. But yeah, maybe Amulet, okay. That's it. Scales, sure, but it's like, what, 8th or ninth best deck in the format. I guess Yogmoth is not very good, Brother Zudan. I'm gonna keep... I don't know about this hand. I mean, I think all these decks you're mentioning are not that popular, and I guess Yogamoth, I don't think it's that good. You could put a one of in your sideboard. Like, nobody's gonna be like, oh, you're wrong. It's just... Actually, I like both of these cards here. I like Ragavan next turn. I mean, I wish I went turn one Ragavan this game. Thank you, Zarek. Have a, have a good day to you, too. Okay. Land Heritage. Le Druid de l'Heritage. Let's go. Land Ragavan have Stern Scold enough. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, they don't have Cavern of Sauce. Hey, Dekola Lee! If I, mm. okay. All right, so here I'm gonna kill Heritage Druid and then my Ragaban connects. Remember, chat, you probably paid 80 or 100 euro for Ragavans. Don't side them out. If you paid 50 lately, then it's okay that you side it, that you side it out. But if you, like me, paid it 80 euros, don't set it out. 80 euros in paper and 90 ticks on Magic Online. Yeah, they blocked XD. That's a definitely a proper answer. Although, as always, I 
not not responsible. That's what I signed a waiver that I signed as a streamer. I'm not responsible for my opponent's play. It's hard to believe, but back in the days, magic cards were expensive. Not think that now they're free, but they were much more expensive than now. And I'm not saying that before it was better than now. I definitely prefer now. Back in the days, a playset of Tarmogoyf was 500 euro. I'm not making it up. Might even be more than in the US, but here in Europe was 500 euro. Chalice a uno. Ma pensa te. And bam, uncountable card under my chalice. Amen. <sighs> Australia was 800 American dollars yeah here was 500 euro I remember because I remember because um, <laughs> a very good friend who bought them for that amount oh wow okay okay that's good actually allora explosion zero I found nice allora devo fare si questo è zero okay what's the other card I want do I want an only heat or channeler I need creatures. I think we're gonna get Chandler. Maybe it was wrong though. Next time I have to crack explosive, so it's a while before I do that. Hmm. Okay, never mind. I had another one on top. Hello, Kuramam. Bonjour, bonjour. He wasn't a PT, he was a GP. He was GP Vegas. The four go with. I think it was GP Vegas. At Modern Horizons, what was it? Modern Horizons 1? I think so. MH1? Yeah. No, vabbè! Posesium explosives, my pants at the. Modern Ma yeah, sorry. I meant to say Modern Master, not Modern Master. It's the Dragon. Whoa, one holy earth. Thank you, Ish the Dragon. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a good time watching Mango with five one drops against Chalice. This is my average feeling at the uh, Pisa Legacy event. I played Grixis Delver, I played against four Chalice decks in five rounds. And uh, this was my average feeling. I could never cast my spells. E okay, you eat my graveyard. Rip graveyard. Why people don't side in Stone of Eric instead of Merc? Instead of Hearse in Merc. Hearse is mostly for the mirror match. Stone of, Stone of Eric is only for uh, Grief. Mm -hmm. And what exile? I'll go to this card. Yagumoth and Scales, okay. Yep, Yagumoth and Scales also, yep. Yeah. 
Nobody remembers what happened or who won, but everyone remembers the Ford Goyf. So I believe that the first ever Vegas GP was won by Neil Oliver. I have this memory. Because then I got to team with Neil Oliver for the PT Eldrazi. I don't have that many much memory though, you're right, after that one. I don't even know if that was the GP. I remember also another Vegas super large, there was like 5,000 people large GP was won by Sean McLaren, which at the time already had won a pro tour. So that was actually a big deal too. We're talking about the GP Vegas held by Channel Fireball with like 5,000 people. Actually, I think that the first ever GP Vegas was like 1,000 people, sorry, 10,000 people. And they split it into two of 5,000. This was magic when magic at the time was mostly competitive formats, format, game, sorry. And people really like to do that. Allora, so I have instance. So if I play, if I discard a creature or an enchantment, I can go end of turn and only hit on Grist. How come they stop doing GPs? They shift focus, it's mostly towards Commander. The number of GPs went down. GP was like a, a very high cost for Wizards. So when they realized that they made a lot of money during COVID when there was no tournaments, they realized there was not that much need to hold tournaments to make money. I think I'm gonna discard Dress Down here. There's only a few cards I can play, but it's gonna give me Delirium. I think I prefer having Channeler. Oh, tu fai meno di Grist. Ok. Now, you minus Grist. I think this is fine with me. You want to bolt Sentinel instead. This is fine. This is fine. Buongiorno, Ale. Okay, end of turn. Let's go, Otawara on Chalice of the Void. And then I go, Anoli Yeet on Endurance. Untap. Ah, oh, cats, I've cast into fire for the <laughs> artifact as well. <laughs> okay, let's go, uh, Island, I wanna keep on deck thinning. Let's go, Channeler. Channeler. Well, I didn't know that uh, my opponent would have killed me with my Shredder, so. Preordain. Bolt Graveyard. I want to see Merc that Regent. I mean, considering I have cast into fire, I may I may even not need the um, to bolt now. So I'm just gonna go iteration instead. Anoli heat, that's okay. Because that makes sure that I don't break with iteration. Perfect. Hand bottom exile. This was the perfect storm. End of turn. I want another anoli heat. Man, no, I, I can draw better. Go. Go. Oh, I can draw better. I can do like double Merc title next turn. I even gonna put a stop in upkeep. They shuffle because they're looking at the top card.
It bricked on Verdant Catacomb. I think they don't have any more lands in the deck. That's weird. Does that mean they have Overgrown Tomb in end? Does that mean they have four lands that they can fetch? Tarimana Izuri. This says they regenerate another creature. Oh, they play this from the top. They still have two cards in hand. And they play Chalice for sure. Okay. No, maybe they don't play Chalice for sure. Oh, wow. They play Leaf Ground Visionary off the top. Upkeep. I'm going to bolt the Izuri. Double surveil again. Subtlety. Mm, I don't want it. I can find better. Okay, I want to go cast into fire and kill this. Let's do wait. Why not? Well, it didn't even regenerate. Oh, it can't. The Cavern of Souls. Explosives. I can find better. Maybe I shouldn't, but I was hoping to find something better. Like, and then only heat. That's okay. Allora, uno, due, tre, quattro e cinque. To, magna questo. Tie for six, go. Yeah, I'm already regenerating another. Sentinella delle Ortiche. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this price, the spike of price in card standard cards? No thoughts? I don't know. There's no spike here. Maybe it's only in America. <laughs> I don't think I see any spike here. Victory! Woo Man, what a league! Alright, this league is lasting a lot. If I win in round four, I will uh yeah, I will continue before so it's not like castle fetch. Yeah, I have to continue. There's only on MKM for Mirex. How much is Mirex? Who plays Mirex? I don't even know if I have Mirex. I mean, I think that I don't need it. There's nobody playing it. No, no, no RC. Oh, Makuto. Hola, Makuto. Playing against uh, Makuto from España with the turn one Ragaban. Turn one, Ragaban. X is super expensive. It is what it is. Not a fan of the current organized play system. Okay. Does Ragaban connect? Yes, it does hmm. uh, Otavara. What's Otavara? I think I'll go iteration. I think my, I think he's playing. Uh, I have a feeling that's living end. Okay. 
got a feeling that my opponent is playing leaving and no I forgot I don't want balls I don't want balls I'm just off Fetch top lane. Let's see what that is. Yeah, I think that's leading end. A dire shuffle, They give me, gave me the same card. I shuffled. That's unfair. That's unfair, Magic Online. I'm here in front of all these people watching, and you give me the same card twice. All the conspirationists will believe it now. Will think that you gave me those cards because I shuffled. Magical line. Stray rate. Ooh, I guess right. I guess I did cats of porca eva stop perde. Porca boia. This guy Merc. And pass. If they reanimate next turn, at least I have a Merc in my graveyard. That's why I did. No, creator, no. Less. Draw this card. I'll discard subtlety. No, do I want to bolt my Ragavan? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I can like unholy heat the curator and then attack with the flyers and then I bolt your face. Yeah, it's not lethal, but almost. Uh, do I want to subtle to the shardless? Yeah, why not? I draw land, I win. No, I do Okay, so deep. Uh, untap and draw. Hmm. Let's go. Anoli heat on the curator. Let's go, iteration. Oh, change the equation. Okay. Mm. Do I want to go Dragon's Right Channeler, Mister? think so. I may get an only heat to my hand over change the equation. I guess my opponent may go leaving again. No, I think I like change the equation, but I don't want to hold it up. Chat, my creatures are 2-3. They're 7-7 they're seven, seven does something. You think that if I had lethal like that, I wouldn't, hit, I wouldn't see it. <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes I do miss stupid lethals, but let's assume uh, I don't this time. Okay, anyway. Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Che cazzo faccio? Non lo so, non lo so. Allora, my problem is if I go Channeler and they go Cycler, Shardless, I get back Shredder and Ragavan. Pun is at five. It's not even that good. It's not even that. I think I'm gonna do like 
hand bottom exile play Otawara as a land attack for four pass thinking about blue red, buying blue or merc died on magical line is it better to buy or rent I mean it's like uh that depends like do you want to spend like a thousand ticks right away or whatever it is I don't know 500 ticks right away if the answer is yes then you should buy it because rent is a cost every month if you want to try a different deck then you should rent I mean it's I don't have a proper answer in that case okay let's dash ragavan and try to win also remember magical and cards just go down they just go down my collection has only lost value in, in, in the time and so you know owning cards is see i expected another outburst that's why i didn't play channeler and then I can go change the equation. Counter target spell mana value two or less. My fifth counter spell. Woo! We win. Bella, bella, bella. Is it possible to transform digital cards in paper cards? Mm, let's just say for the sake of saying no there is a way but it's not profitable so there's just say there isn't I'll take a bathroom break i'll come back for a round for game two out and finally anoli heat let's go Rubin says, the thing is that if you play enough Moto, it will get itself, get you money. That's what, that's what they tell you, but no one does. I mean, not everyone does it. So you can't say that to like a person you don't know. I have plenty of friends that lost hundreds of euros playing Magic Online. So it just, you know, it's like saying, oh yeah, I should... Uh... Play poker. It's like the people that say, oh yeah, I play poker professionally. You should too. You just need to study and then you make money. Sure, but if it was that easy, heroes do it. So, you know, they, it's not that, that somebody does it. But, you know, if you don't know the person. You're up 100? Perfect. You know, yeah, everyone, sh everyone is just like you. Then. Everyone could make free money by playing Magic Online. I mean, they must they must profit if everyone if you think that you're not very good and you make a hundred you probably underestimate yourself or undersell how do you say undersell yeah and it's not about money it's mostly about like like you play magic online in order to improve for when you go to a paper tournament your test against very much better player So, you know, if you play like one year of Magic Online, you are probably after that year much better than your same level of friend that was just like you one year ago, but doesn't play Magic Online. Yeah, yeah, there is a way to cash out. You can sell. Um, you can sell uh, ticks to many services. Yeah, exactly. It's a hobby for most people and very few people make money off it. I mean, it's always been like this. The best way to make money with magic has always been uh, trading. It was never... I remember as one of the reasons why Sifka quit when he was 
a pro in 2000 whatever is because it's very rare for um, for pros to make a living out of magic even for pros and he went to Artstone and he said that you know vendors would make much more money than him who won the PT and everything else and it's it's fine like you know it's fine they they moved away from that and i probably personally andrea mengucci lived the the peak of uh pro magic getting paid the most so you know <laughs> i definitely can't say anything bad about that yeah i'm not underselling what the vendors work do i know that the vendors is a very difficult job And I would never do it. I would never open a store or run a business like that. So it's just it's just the way it is. Oh no, they grieve me again. I hide this, I hid this spell pierce very well on top of the deck, but my opponent found it. I spent everything on beta power? Yes, everything. I have nothing left. All I have is this computer and my magical line collection. Endurance. Yeah, boy, yeah, quasi. If only I had breeding pool for questing druid. Dio caro, pensa che mina che era. If I had a breeding pool in my deck. Porca boia. Allora, uh, well, if my opponent has a combo, they, 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 they combo me, so might as well uh, just play his Merc Titan Pass. Tana Eva che briscola. Nice, they don't have a cascade card. I'm not playing with the jury today. I don't have an answer, so they don't ask why. I was supposed to annoy heat in my upkeep. Was I supposed to? Probably not. Maybe I was. Opening LGS is good business? I don't know. It's a business, so you have to guess your, uh, the people that are in your air app. Okay, so my opponent's dead here, so what should I do? Just attack? No, they have Otawara here. Okay. If they have Otawara here, is there a way where I... Let's go. Shredder into Merktide. And draw this card.
Mm. Allora, my question is, if I play Preordain, I can't find Flusterstorm or Spell Pierce. Point in Cascades, yeah, I think I should play Preordain. I got four looks at Flusterstorm. Mitra's bubble is actually okay. It's Chunks! Wow, it's a large raid. Welcome, you guys. How's it going? So, if I leave this bubble on top, I get to see another card with Channeler. So, I'm going deep of one card, I think. So, I'll leave this on top. Since it's the same. And I'm looking for Flaster Storm. Uh, maybe it was supposed to Graveyard, actually. Yeah, no, it was actually the same. It was the same look. Because I would have graveyard that, I would have seen two lands bottom both and then draw that one, so it's the same. Anyway, I pass, my opponent has a Mr. Enforced in hand on top. What's up, boss? What's up? Flusterstorm? Bella <laughs> GG's, Makuto says. Alright, we win. I didn't even need it. I didn't even need it. My opponent didn't draw a single Cascade spell. What was that? I mean, the Friday Merc Tide are always, are always good fun. But there's just so much variance. It's crazy the variance there is. Imagine like doing well in a long tournament. How lucky do you have to be, man? Well, I was dead like any time. My opponent just never drank a skate card. Never. What matchup is dressed down for Urza Saga tokens? Land Ragaban, that's all I need. Everything else is extra. Your match? No, basic mountain. Burn? Oh wow! Cookbook? El cookbook. El book the cook. Okay, they don't have the 4 2 at least. Lend? Len Paramengu? No. E allora mi sa che è finita qui. I don't know, it's Chungus. I have no idea. Thankfully, at tournaments, there are judges, and for Magical Line, there's Magical Line. <laughs> no, they have a third land. It's over. It's over. It's over. I can't beat a third land. One day I'll be able to beat the third land, but not this day.
Okay, so I am randomly arrived. I have randomly arrived the 62 cards after clicking some buttons. How do I want to proceed? By counting some some more counter spells? Sure. Bella. Second land. I'll go turn one chandelier. Top for one. Whenever I know my opponent doesn't have orc or Bren, I'm just so happy to go turn one chandelier. How's the weather? It's okay. It's okay. Let's see how many degrees it is. It is currently seven degrees. It's not that much. I thought it was more. Is it worth to buy Force of Negation for Merktide? How necessary it is? It's not necessary, no, no need to buy it. It's 50 euros, definitely too much for that card. It's not a very good card. 50 euros too much. Also, they will like reprint it like seven more times. Don't worry about it. Source? Trust me, bro. I'm attacking here. I only kept in two counters, but I drew them both. Yeah, exactly. You should you should definitely get the Flux of Storms. That one's much more important than Force of Negation. I mean, most of these cyborg are just honestly just cards. Like you don't have any. I don't have any. I can't tell you why you should play this over another sir card for Merktide. The list of Merktide never really matters. All that matters is actually just playing well. Thank you, it's Chunks. Happy... Good evening, good night. I don't know where, where you're from. Coach Nobby Lai, thank you for the sixth month. Welcome, my friend. Inti. Hmm. This... Oh, wow. You discarded all oh, is there, devil. Okay. I mean, I need to draw a removal spell. I'll go iteration here. Graveyard, I'm sure I'll find better. I was sure, in fact. Let's go hand, bottom, exile. I'll play Bubble. I still don't have Delirium. Let's see what happens on top. Actually, I can just discard Counterspell and then boom, we got Delirium. And boom, 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 boom. Otro lado pura noli, it. And boom, 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 boom. This Boom. Um. Boom. Do I attack Inti? Must see. Me, I know you have another one. But I think I'll still discard Inti. Where is the druid? It's in your binder. I wanted to play something with Ledger Shredder today. Let's do mix it up a little bit. Bird Loya. How many hours do you think someone needs to master Merktide in an LGS? I mean, unfortunately to say it, but if you don't play Magic Online these days, it's just impossible. I mean, maybe if you like play Amulet since 2004, I should say 14. If you play Amulet since 2014, you can be a master of it without Magic Online. But outside of that, I think that it's just honestly very hard. To become very good at magic without uh, the opportunity to play against the best at every point. Allora, 
Your heart is exotic. I'm just to keep on discarding counter spell. 2004, there was no amulet. No, yeah, no, I just made a random number when modern started. <laughs> Sorry, when the cards of modern started. Um, mm -mm -mm. Allora, let's go fetch preordain. Yes, Malt MTG. Looking for bolts. Found it. What about second explosives? Bull summit different at this point. Let's go bolt uh, here. Looking for an only heat. And then I play and then I play hers. Preordain, do I like it or not? No. Attack for seven, you go to four, go. The next card to look for is Anoli Heat. I think the key to play Merktide is always to be like, what do you look for? So that you can actually properly loot and surveil with your cantrips. So that should be always in your mind. Like, what are you looking for? This is not a deck you can play clicking buttons. I mean, you, you could, anything you could have, you could, but if you want to maximize it, you should uh, always think about those things. Allora, facciamo che esilio lui e go. bubble. So you don't have delirium. Do I double sleeve always? Unless my popper decks, but I double sleeve everything else. All right, final game of this league for all of the marbles. For all the pieces of marble. For all the pieces of marble. Oh, my side. Mm. Eep. Yeah, very sleepy. I returned home at 2 a.m. yesterday. Play popper in my LGS. Is it worth a subtle two for Merc died? How necessary it is? 50% necessary. Nice. Chandelier. Chandelier. Bobo. Dress down. Allora, Dress Down is just perfect to go in the graveyard for Delirium. But Dress Down is my answer to Saga, which my opponent may easily have since their hand doesn't seem great. Plus, I'm gonna assume they will kill my Channeler. So I just got, exactly, I just got a nice little ATB effect with Channeler. 
and then that's it. So I keep the dress down on top because it ends the saga, which my opponent may have. Knew it. So when you play Magic, you should always think what's your opponent range. They kept a hand that goes land go. I'm not saying that you should mulligan every hand that doesn't have a one drop. My opponent deck is aggressive deck, so their hand must have had Saga. And how can you tell this thing? Only experience. How can you have experience magical line? This is what I said earlier. I want to draw Merc the Regent, or uh, I'm happy with a Preordain here. I'll go Island Preordain. There's no Red Elemental Blast. In Legacy, I always die in spots like this. Because I'm going like, oh yeah, I have Rest Down, easy. And then they just go Red Elemental Blast, and I lose. Okay, I found Merc Tied. I also found Ragaban. I'm not gonna draw Ragaban. I'm gonna draw Mark Tide though. Go. I will play Dress Down in response. Any of what she's their devil? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling great about this game. Oh, another saga. Interesting. I should try and not play Merc that the Dice to God Blast. And while I want to have a tiny bit more of information, so I'm not gonna crack my bubble now. Yeah, definitely. Pair pair and magical line are two different worlds, and you have to remember your triggers a bit. I would say that the most important thing is learning how to play then your triggers. You may remember all your triggers, but if you don't know, if you don't play very well, you're still not going to win the tournament. But I totally understand what you mean. I mean, ideally, you should have both paper and ex online paper and a uh, paper um, online and paper experience. Uh, should I use a Nolly Heat or a Bolt? I think I'm gonna use Heat. God Blast on top. Okay. I think I want to dash Ragavan and steal the Gal Blast. Because if I play Merc I would have killed it with double bolt double bolt. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm just gonna play for your name. Spell the name of that creature? I know it. Don't prove me. It's Asmorano Mercadica Dice in Arcuda, car. I like, I like Shredder. I want Shredder to be the last creature I have in play when I win this league. 
a five witch trophy with ledger shredder Vai, vai, fanny tutti questi. All the food. Yesterday, actually, I went 4 1 with my opponent deck, beating Merc Tide with like endless food. But I think my hand is well equipped to beat that. I even have cast into fire in case they have natural pithy needle. Like poses on zero and pass the turn. I may also play Merc Tide, but actually I want to play at seven, seven if it's possible. Plus I want to keep up mana in case something weird happens. It doesn't work in your computer. I'm sorry. <laughs> you get the experience watching me and playing in paper. Happy to read that. See you in Ghent. Yes, indeed. And if you've ever seen me in Ghent, and you're like, you know, I want to say him something, don't worry. Like, you can... Don't feel like uh, you're... Unless I'm talking. Like, sometimes I'm talking with somebody. You know, don't interrupt. But if you want to say that you enjoy the stream, I'm always happy to read that. Allora, let's see how much... No, it's okay. I'll uh, crack it now. I will do a cleaning here. Pfft. Eight for one, they call it. Do I know when my power rankings go online? At the end of every month, the week of the end of every month, it's when the power ranking go online. Mm -hmm. I may have even like let my opponent Got pithy needle there because I've cast some. Nah, it's fine. Do I want to fetch to play around pithy needle on flooded strand? Nah, I really don't care. Go ahead and do that. Shadow Spira. Hmm. Pepe Pera. Va bene. I think I'm gonna get ready the trophy behind me while my opponent thinks. Hitting needle. In this case, I'll fetch. I got a top land here. You like my sweater? Thank you. It's from a brand called Piombo. It's very cheap, actually. I'm also quite old. I like it. I like it a lot. My girlfriend said it's too old. I shouldn't wear it anymore. So I only wear it for my Twitch chat. But I, li I like it too. It's also very comfortable. They named a licensed nurse with Pitin Needle. What are the top three most popular deck in Ghent? Um, Rhinos, Mur Rhinos, Merktide, Yogmoth. Rhinos, Merktide, Yogmoth, I think. Maybe Scam. Rhinos, Merktide, Scam. I don't know. You should thank OVS for Piombo. Exactly. OVS. I think OVS. Now, I think Yogamoth will be super popular. Yogamoth is the best deck, and it's not that hard as Amulet, so people will just pick it up. 
over Amulet if they want to play the best deck. So, and it's the best deck. Like, Yoga Moth is the best deck. It's tied with Amulet, but it's a little bit easier. That makes it, I think, the most popular choice. Not Scam. I think Scam is much, it's just much worse than it used to be. I think it's still good, but... People were playing it because it was by far the best deck before, not because it was fun or anything. People will still play Merc deck because it's fun, even if it's... I mean, I say even if it's not that good. I mean, it's just worse than the other decks, but, you know, it's still capable of winning a 5-0, but, you know, it's not that it, this matters very much. Allora, che facciamo? Um, bo How big is my Merc? 6-6, six, six. still dies to an only heat. I don't want it to die to an only heat. Allora, let's go Shredder, Preordain here. You wrote this card. Bobine. Oh, nice. I can discard a license there's Sweet. Bottom, top. Go. Why cast into the fire? Sometimes there's like annoying things and cast into the fire gets rid of that like for example, um, the One Ring, or uh, Worm Coil, or Pithy Needle on Explosives, you know, things like that. My opponent has one card in end. Do I have any counter spell in my deck? Or did I set them all out? I have one. How much do I want to slow roll this Merc died? Because now I can play it 8-8. Eight, eight. Let's go Iteration. Let's go, yeah, you know what? Let's go Channel, let's go Shreddery Merc died, yeah. 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, one card in its Daredevil, exactly. Allora, cosa scarto? I think I discard Cast Into Fire, although Cast Into Fire kills Shadow Spear. What's the worst enemy they can play? Asmo. If they have Asmo, okay, I'll discard Cast Into Fire. If they have Asmo, they kill my creatures, and I... Yeah, they have to draw Asmo now. You play us into fire for the exile da effect. The dealing one damage is always super underwhelming. Same thing in Pauper, honestly. Okay, drawing counter spell. Sick. Fammi contare. I deal you 10, you gain 3, so I deal you 7, you go to 15. Hmm. I'll play Duration. And... Bottom... Exile. Draw this card. Attack. Trophy, trophy, trophy. Trophy, la 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 la. Trophy, la 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 la. La la la.
and or exile land bolt you DJ Tropi 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 quanto stanco mm. ok oh oh ma quanto pesa It's been a while that I haven't done a trophy with Murky. Murky. Boom. This league was already too long. Two hours and 23 minutes of fun. Because that's what Merc died is. Thank you everybody for watching. If you're watching YouTube, remember to subscribe and uh, have a great day.